Hey everybody, Zoe here with the Felicity Yarn Studio channel and I have a little bit of a different video for you today. I took some footage while I was dyeing the other day, dyeing yarn that is. <laughs> so I thought that I would do a little bit of a studio vlog for you guys. What inspired all of this is when I was dyeing up the advent calendars for this year, I fell in love with one of the colorways that I dyed up. I fell in love with a few of them and I do plan on recreating more, but the first one that I wanted to recreate is this colorway here. This is based on the painting The Woman at the Loom by Marie Croyer. I think that's how you say her name. Um, she was a woman impressionist painter and I just really fell in love with the subject matter and the color palette. I thought that it was really beautiful and it turned into this really beautiful, soft, subtle colorway with the peaches and the blues and little hints of lavender in there. And I really have been wanting a second one of these that I'm wearing. <laughs> this is the Basic Raglan Pullover by Hofi Locatelli. Um, now this is a DK weight pattern and I'm gonna be dyeing up some sock yarn. So I'm not sure what pattern I'll use yet. Probably just like the Flax Light or the Cozy Classic Light by Jessie May. I basically just want another kind of basic lightweight raglan pullover that I can knock around in. I really wear this one way more than I was ever expecting to. Um, I purchased this woolen boon yarn on a whim and I just kind of was like, I don't know what I'm gonna make with this. I'll just make the basic raglan and it has wound up being a sweater that I wear like two or three times a week. I really love it. Um, I, so I kind of wanted a second option. Um, I'm kind of putting a lot of wear onto this one sweater right now. So yeah, I decided that I wanted to dye up a sweater's quantity of this colorway because I think that it'll make just kind of another nice basic neutral um, with a little bit of interest there for my wardrobe. So anyway, yeah, I just wanted to kind of document the process and walk you guys through it. I may explain a little bit of what I'm doing along the way. And yeah, I will see you guys on the other side to show you the results. So obviously the first step when dyeing yarn is gonna be to get your yarn wet. I like to go ahead and soak mine with citric acid in the water. Uh, wool and other animal protein fibers need heat and citric acid in order for the dye to adhere. And so I find that pre-soaking really helps, especially when I'm speckling yarn. You can use either crystals for the citric acid or white vinegar. I personally just prefer the crystals as they don't leave a scent behind. The yarn is now just coming up to temperature and while I wait for that to happen, I've pulled out all of the dyes that I'm gonna be using to make this colorway. And now the fun part of applying some color to this bare yarn. I'm giving this dye a good shake. Um, some of the colors tend to crash out and what that means is the dye tends to separate um, if you've stored the dye stock for a while. It's still perfectly usable, you just gotta kind of get it all back into one form. Um, but yeah, I'm working from a picture <laughs> that I sent to Naomi while I was dyeing these up originally. So I do have a slight little bit of reference um, as far as recreating this colorway goes.
As you can see, the base colors have been applied to this side of the yarn. We will be flipping it a little bit later and applying some more color to the other side. But for now, it is time to add some speckles. My method for speckling has evolved over the years, but I've always used a plastic knife utensil. I just find that it gives me a lot of control over where I want the speckles and how much dye is being applied. So those colors are now setting, the speckles are setting. It's probably gonna take about 10 or 15 minutes and this is the perfect opportunity for me to stop and take a lunch break. All right, so dye has been applied to the other side of the yarn. I am making my second pass of speckles. I will actually make a third pass of speckles off camera, um, but I'm really pleased with how this all is dying up. Uh, some of the colors do look a little dark in the pan, a little more saturated than what I was going for. However, it is good to note that while you're dyeing, colors are gonna look a little bit darker in the pan and they will lighten up a bit as they dry. So the dyeing is done, the yarn is dried, and I have twisted it all up here to share with you. Here's the mini, here's the one that I dyed up. So I think I got a really close um, reproduction of this colorway, I'm really pleased with how it turned out. Um, there is one or two things that I would like to tweak. I think some of the blue and the like lavender purple got a little bit darker than I was intending, but I am totally okay with that. I think it'll kind of even out or mellow out as I'm knitting and like alternating skeins with these. really 
really love this colorway. It is just, again, so soft, so subtle and delicate. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to casting on a new basic kind of mindless knit in this yarn. Really looking forward to adding this to my wardrobe. Um, again, there are quite a few colorways from the advent calendar that I also want to recreate. So they may not be, you know, exact um, duplicates of the ones that I dyed, but I will do my best to try to get them, you know, as close as possible. So you guys can expect some more of those in the future. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please let me know if you want to see kind of more dyeing vlog style <laughs> videos. Of course, I can't, you know, show you guys everything because <laughs> I don't want to give away all my little colorway secrets, um, but it was a lot of fun taking you guys into my process. I hope that, you know, maybe demystifies the dyeing process for some people. So I'm going to go ahead and sign off. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I hope that you enjoyed seeing the dyeing process. Um, drop me a comment down below. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. And of course, don't forget to subscribe if you don't want to miss any videos and I will see you guys again soon.